Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this image on Facebook yesterday and trying to figure out how to make the line solid. It's a it's a clip art, and it's garbage. And I've already gotten with the young or the person. I don't uh, and just it really can't be done. The boundary tool doesn't work because it's the well tool doesn't work. Trace it doesn't work. So I was playing around with it, and I, I just found a piece of clip art that I thought might work. And this is the one I found, and it traced real good and looked real good. But I started thinking of if they wanted it exactly like the, the dotted line, um, I did this in about five minutes or less. And the smart drawing tool, I think, started in like, X6, uh, in X6 it's in a different spot, and X6 is under actually under the Smart Fill tool, but in X7 and above it's actually in your Drawing Tools, uh, Freehand Point, Point Line, B Line Poly, Three Point Curve, Live Sketch, and then Smart Drawing Tool, and it works really good in this situation. Uh, I've used it several times for drawing. And what, what the smart drawing tool it actually does, it kind of it tries to recognize shapes. And, of course, it, if you can't draw a circle, it's not going to be able to recognize a circle. But if you can draw um, rectangles, it can recognize rectangles and kind of make it more of a rectangle. So, and actually, if you've got better hand-eye coordination than I do with the mouse. It actually works a lot better. But in this case, it works really well for tracing this. And I noticed that the, the item was made up of leaves and petals, and the petals were all crescent shapes. That made it a lot of like easier. So the way I did it, my drawing is like 10 inches, so make your nudge factor, your nudge distance 12 inches, and just take your smart drawing tool and draw this line that I've already done. See if I can't just grab my line I've already drawn. And this drawing is, every time you click off of it, it's causing problems. So, that's what I ought to do is just grab it and move it over 12 inches. Oh, that's what it is. I had, I'd actually tried another version. So, there's my drawing that I use with my smart fill tool. I'm just going to cursor over. So, then you've almost got all the leaves. And we didn't do this one on purpose. Or I didn't do that one on purpose. Because I thought I'd show you the smart drawing tool. So, grab your smart drawing tool. And just start right here. And what's the smart drawing tool? It's going to actually try to jump from node to node to node. And it traces these dots pretty good. Now I'm a little bit off. And I, but that's pretty close and better than you would have gotten with the freehand tool. Then just zoom in. Take your shape tool. Select all your new shape. Right click your mouse and turn them to curves. Now we've got a double node there, so we don't need it. But we do want it to go up there. Uh, we don't need this node. We don't need this node. Try to get rid of these nodes we do not need. We're going to need that node. And put this node right there and just make it look more like your line. And, and I did pretty good. There's some double nodes here and triple nodes that you do not need. And like that one's really hard to see. Um, and you can use both lines. There's our other line. So you get that pretty close. Then you hit your pick tool. And then you cursor over. And you've got that part of the leaf. Now when I did that, I would make sure that they're connected. And they're, they're not. So take your shape tool and delete that node and take take one of these nodes and move it up or down. 
And you've got to remember that this is basically a new drawing. And it's going to be yours, but that's going to look really good. And then with your crescent shape that you made, and all I did was make it with two circles and, and use the freehand tool or the smart fill tool to fill it in. Let's just zoom in here. And let's put our crescent shape on one of these crescent shapes. Let's zoom in even closer. Take that node right there and put it to that corner. Double click and put your rotation on that node and then rotate this crescent shape pretty close. Now we're a little big, so then you just take your shape tool. Let's get rid of this node and see what happens. Nothing happened. So now we can take our shape tool and we can move our different nodes around. We need to get rid of that node. And then with your shape tool, you can get it closer to that line. And we've got something going on here crazy. Uh, our lines are like moved. Let's zoom in here a little bit more, see what's going on. Grab our shape tool. Let's turn it like right click and it's good. I don't know why that's like that, but that'll that'll work. And so you're you're pretty close to that line. Now pick tool it. Control D to make a duplicate of that crescent and then cursor the other one over. So there's part of our drawing, but we left the first one in there. Take your next biggest uh, and move it over and you got to think about which way you're going to flip it. Let's zoom in here. Use the pick tool, double click. And now we need to move our rotation to this one and rotate this guy around. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And for the video, that's probably close enough, but I'm going to go ahead and correct it. Get rid of that node. Take our handles and move that one out. Move that one out. Move this in a little bit. And you can play around with this. And you've got to always think about, you know, this is going to be your drawing after it's done. It doesn't have to be, you do want it close to those lines so you can have the same thickness. But we're good enough. Hit your pick tool, control D, and make a duplicate, and cursor over. We're going to do one more. We're going to do one of the small ones. And we'll put that close. And this was made a lot easier because it was made of, of crescent shapes. We're going to control D and move it over. Let's do one more just so you can kind of get the idea. You know, this one is a little bit bigger. So let's take this and move it here. Move our rotation to that corner. Rotate it pretty close. This is what's, when you've got it at a funny angle, your pick tool is a little bit harder to use. We make it a little bit bigger. Double click on it to get your rotation back. Let's zoom in here a little bit. In our, basically our, double click on it again, get your rotation back. Now I would get my shape tool and grab that. It really throws it off, but you can move your handles back. And you've got to just kind of remember that, like I've said, I think I've said it too many times already. This is going to be your drawing. Control D and make a duplicate and move it over. I think I'm going to pause the video and actually make a second video to make this more educational, I guess. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.